Ginger still. Ginger's like, yeah, she, she's you know, delivered. She's got it. She's got she's a got great. It. She's got a great singing voice. Let's get to it. Number nine. Since we are all at home celebrating the long Independence Day holiday, the weekend. Let's get into it. Here, people like to say, as American as apple pie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out, people are wrong. Neither apples nor pie originate here in America. Apples are native to Asia, and the first recorded recipe for apple pie was back in 1381 in England. Back then, the recipe called for apples, figs, raisins, pears, and saffron. It did not include sugar mm -hmm. at all. That's not an apple pie. Yeah, that's not yeah. apple pie. Well, that's it was an American ad for sugar. We so the original yeah. crust was simply intended to be an edible container, not right. actually part of the pie. Uh, listen, you always hated America, Dan. You're poo-pooing <laughs> freaking apple pie. It is American. If you want, you and your commie friends want to <laughs> give it credit somewhere mm -hmm. else, more power to you. Mm -hmm. But some of us around here love America mm -hmm. and love apple mm -hmm. pie. Yeah. And we so, know who, where to give yeah. the credit. We don't yep. need you and the commies bringing this down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we should roll that Damn. whole Hogan video camera. Yeah. <laughs> to make up for that. <laughs> yeah. You can get a little Yankee Doodle hat for yeah. you to call yeah. 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 No Number <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Number eight. Pat recently had a list of the best infomercials. Here's one from Japan that didn't make the cut, but maybe it should have. Call an ambulance, please. 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 Oh, no, I'm totally into this. This is amazing. Great golf weather today. It's catchy. Would you like something called Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would. Hold on. Where does it hurt? Ah, uh, my stomach. I have a bad case of diarrhea. Oh, yeah, here Okay, this is not a real yeah. This is not <laughs> this is a great song. <laughs> she doesn't look like she does. <laughs> she looks very. Why do we watch it? Doing great. Great. <laughs> is this? I, I'm, I've seen this before. <laughs> what is this for then, Paul? I'm not sure what it's for. What are, oh, they man. sound like They're it's an oh. Yeah. Fun for those long car rides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's like the show tunes. I'd rather do that than 99 bottles yeah, of beer. Yeah, I'd rather. It's much better than the show tunes. Yeah. That was yeah. amazing. Well, I hope she's all right after all of that. I hope yeah. so, too. Maybe it's a Pepto help. Yeah. Uh, number seven, there's still a bit of a delay for everyone who ordered pools last summer. So let's talk about inflatable pools. They've come a long way since many of us were kids. They're just made better. They won't collapse if you have more than one person in there. And they come in so many sizes, not just round plastic ones that we used to all cram into with our siblings, plus the next door neighbor kids. Uh, some of them even have little filters to keep them clean. But here's the best part. Their soup's cute for that all-important SYW, Summer Yard Whimsy. Uh, there are even inflatable pools just for your dog. Yeah. So, like, the world has become a much better place. It really yeah. has all the innovation. The that's inflatable all the pools, styles to choose technologies. from. Technologies. Yeah. <laughs> Number six, next time your kids say that they are bored, show them this. They won't complain again. It's an old commercial from the 70s uh, for a Magnavox TV. What makes this television different from any other in the world? This button, it brings you a home video game built in, a Magnavox exclusive. Whoa. One touch and it's Magnavox Color TV with a color picture of astonishing clarity. Touch again and it's Odyssey, America's favorite home video game. Why settle for just Color TV when now you can have a built-in home video wow. game too? No. Only so from Magnavox. Hmm. It'd be tough to say no to that. Do you grow up with one of those? I've never seen that. No, no. I've never even heard of that. No, no. me either. Yeah. Number five, here's a vintage ad for wieners, skinless wieners. Ah. Sure to be tender. <laughs> Frankfurt. I'm just reading what it says. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't think we can kill the banner there. <laughs> no. Maybe not. Our 
maybe not. They're sure to be tender because they have no skins. Huh. I wonder how that works. Find some cool <laughs> stuff. <laughs> what that is, actually. Yeah. I think about it. Happy they Should are, there be casing like on it? Yeah, it seems like you would kind of need it. Yeah. Okay. Magic wieners back from long ago. <laughs> yeah. Long, long ago. Good for them. All right, number four, here's something about the Godfather you might not know. Oh, here's something from The Godfather that you might not know. James yeah, Caan yeah. was the first choice to play Michael <laughs> Corleone. Just stay with me. Uh, he was well known at the time, while Al Pacino was not. But director Francis Ford Coppola fought hard for Pacino, and the role went to him. It's yeah. not thought that James Caan lost out on much. He was still in the movie. Playing the hot-tempered Sonny, that oh. performance also earned him an Oscar nomination. It's almost yeah. like Yoda wrote that a little bit there. It was a hard <laughs> one for me to get through. <laughs> it was I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it slightly, yeah. yeah. But it you came know? out a little disjointed, but I think you get the idea. Yeah. <laughs> we got, you know, we the, got the idea. Flow. That's all that matters. Yeah. That James Caan got the role of yeah. Sonny, right. and then he was killed at the toll booth. Right. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was at the toll booth scene, yeah. right? Ah, stay away from the toll booth. In the middle of nowhere. You really don't know that scene? Never seen the movie. Oh so. my gosh! It's, I have better things going on in my life okay. right now. It's okay. Taking some reading lessons. Stuff like that. <laughs> reading <laughs> lessons. Case to be made for the eye pass. All right. Yep. Uh, <laughs> the open road tolling for sure. <laughs> Number three. Did you know John Adams believed that July second was the correct date on which to celebrate Independence really? Day? He would reportedly turn down invitations to appear at July Fourth events out of protest. Oh. By the way. John Adams died on July 4th, 1826. Oh. On the 50th anniversary of the adoption of the Declaration of Independence, Thomas Jefferson also died on the same day. Well, why would there be a dispute? Like, so. either you know or you don't know. You were there. It says July 4th right there in the... Put down that document. What was it called? Yeah. The I don't Declaration know of it Independence. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a, it's a, yeah. What, but, but what's his beef? Thinks it was on the 2nd. He believes it. Maybe that's. Well, we'll have to look it up. Yep, there's some <laughs> trouble there. Number two, let's talk about fireworks. The first fireworks were used around 200 BC, but the tradition of setting off fireworks on the 4th of July started in Philly in 1777. They were used during the first organized celebration of Independence Day. Ship's cannons fired a 13 gun salute in honor of the 13 colony, colonies, and that night there was a large fireworks exhibition on the Philadelphia Commons. According to the Pennsylvania Evening Post, the city was beautifully illuminated, just like this city at, con yep. probably continuing right now yeah. Yeah. in the daylight. That was a long night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good All right, time for number one. Let's talk about why so many people eat hot dogs on the 4th of July. Uh, Americans eat around 150 million hot dogs each year on that particular date. That's enough hot dogs to make a line from Washington, D.C. to Los Angeles five times. That's a lot of wieners. Uh, the tradition started with the annual Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest in Brooklyn, New York, according to Nathan's website. It all started when four immigrants held a hot dog eating contest on Coney Island. They were trying to settle an argument over who was the most patriotic. Well, guess what? There are no real facts to back up that claim. In fact, the first Nathan's hot dog contest wasn't officially on record before 1972. So the truth is they just made up that story for publicity. Yeah. So why do people really eat the hot dogs? Probably just because they're good. Delicious. Delicious. Tasty. Yeah. Affordable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Five times. Yeah. Between New York and L.A., that's a long, long Now, you were working miles. on that math for a while. Yeah, so it's you, amazing. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I'm glad that I got credit for it. Yeah. Give me this calculator over there. Yeah, and... when you do the math on it, it's crazy. Good job, Paul. All right, <laughs> thank you, Dan. I All appreciate right. you giving me yeah. credit there. Uh, here's what's going on with... Oh. Here's what's going on with our... I almost forgot. I've been